Police have laid their first set of charges over the violent riots outside a church in Sydney southwest. Hundreds of people descended upon Christ the Good Shepherd Church in Wakeley on Monday night after Bishop Ma Mari Emanuel was stabbed during a live streamed service. For more, reporter Jessica Rendell joins us now from Sydney. Good morning to you, Jess. What do we know about this first arrest? Well, Lisa, yesterday police executed a search warrant on a home in Doonside and arrested a 19-year-old man. Now, he was taken to Blacktown Police Station and charged with riot, affray and destroying or damaging property during a public disorder. He was refused bail and is expected to face Blacktown local court today. Now, he's not the only one that's expected to be, to be charged over these violent incidents. We know that hundreds of people were involved in these violent riots. We saw police cars damaged and destroyed. Neighbouring properties were also destroyed too in these riots. Police have set up a strike force called Strike Force Dribs to investigate these incidents and officers are working to track down hundreds of people who were involved in these riots and are expected to make further arrests. Now, we know that much of these riots was act were actually captured on camera. News crews managed to get out there. Riot these riots were happening for quite some time. So there, there is vision of that and police are working through that to try and identify people who were destroying and damaging property. Yes, yeah, so much on social media as well and the police commissioner made it clear she was going to make sure doors were knocked on. Uh, the 16 year old boy who allegedly stabbed the bishop, what's happened with him so far? So he remains to be charged. We know police are still working through those and they're expected to be quite serious charges. This was labelled a terrorist attack. So we're expecting to hear from them in the coming days about what he will be charged with. He's still recovering at an undisclosed location as there are fears of reprisal attacks on him. He's recovering from surgery for a partially severed finger too. Now, as for the bishop, he's still recovering at a Liverpool Hospital. We know that he received several head lacerations but we understand that his uh, injuries are non-life-threatening.